Now the next theorem that is theorem 3.4 If f is an even continuous function defined on minus a to a then minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 2 times 0 to a f of x dx. So if f is an even continuous function that is f of minus x is equal to f of x for all x belongs to minus a to a. So, we are going to prove it. Here, we have two partition of this given interval that is minus a less than 0 less than a. The two partition are that is minus a to 0 f of x dx plus 0 to a f of x dx. Now you can see that we have to work out only this part. So take this as number 1. Now let i is equal to minus a to 0 f of x dx. So let x is equal to minus a. That gives dx is equal to x is equal to minus t. Sorry, minus t. So dx is equal to minus dt. So when x is equal to minus a, t is equal to a, and when x is equal to 0, t is equal to 0. Also, dx over dt minus 1 is continuous on minus a to 0. Therefore, by substitution rule, we get i is equal to a to 0 f of minus t minus dt. That is, i is equal to minus of a to 0 f of minus t dt. Or we can say 0 to a f of minus t dt. As a to b f of x dx is equal to minus b to a f of x dx on interchanging the limit. So since f is an even function therefore f of minus t is f of t. So by using this concept i becomes 0 to a f of t dt. And also we know that on changing the variable there is no change in the integration. It becomes 0 to a f of x dx. So substituting the value of i in 1 we get minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of x dx plus 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 2 times 0 to a f of x dx. That is our required result. So we will do a problem on the basis of this theorem. 
So example based on theorem 3.4 is evaluate i is equal to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 cos of x dx. As we know that cos x function is continuous on the range minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Now as we know that integration of cos x is or we have to check out from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 whether cos is an even function or an odd function. So we check out f of x is equal to cos x. That is let f of x is equal to cos x. So we have to check out whether it is an even function or odd function. So f of minus x is equal to cos of minus x. That is cos of x. As we know that cos of minus theta is cos theta. Therefore cos function is an even function. So therefore by using theorem 3.4 we get i is equal to 2 times 0 to a cos of x dx. So it becomes integration of cos x is sin x and limit is varying from 0 to pi by 2. So we get 2 times sin pi by 2 minus sin 0. So we get 2 times sin pi by 2 is 1 and sin 0 is 0. So we get the value of this is 2. So this is on the basis of theorem 3.4. Now the next theorem is that is theorem 3.5. If f is an odd continuous function on minus a to a close interval, then minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 0. As we done in theorem 3.4, we will do in the same manner. It is almost similar. So the proof is here as we done in theorem 3.4 we will divide the interval in two parts minus a less than 0, 0 less than a. Therefore minus a to a f of x dx is equal to minus a to 0 f of x dx plus 0 to a f of x dx that is number 1. Again we will treat this part as i. Let i is equal to minus a to 0 f of x dx. Same as we done in theorem 3.4 let x is equal to minus t that is dx is equal to minus dt and dx over dt is equal to minus 1 is continuous on minus a to a and also when x is equal to minus a t is equal to a and when x is equal to 0 t is equal to 0. So by using all these parts we get i is equal to a to 0 f of minus t minus dt that is we get minus of a to 0 f of minus t dt f f is an odd function Therefore, f of minus t is equal to minus of f of t. Therefore, i becomes minus of f of t dt 
that is again minus that is a to 0. So we get a to 0 f of t dt and also we know that when the minus sign is introduced limit is changing that is 0 to a f of t dt. So by using the value of i in number 1 we get minus a to a f of x dx is equal to sorry we will do one step here on changing the variable there is no change in the integral so we change the variable t by x so we get minus a to a f of x dx that is minus of 0 to a f of x dx plus 0 to a f of x dx. So we see we get minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 0 when f of x is an odd function. So we will do example on the basis of this theorem. For example, evaluate i minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 sin x dx. So first of all we will check out whether sin x is a cos uh, odd function or an even. Let f of x is equal to sin x. That implies f of minus x is equal to sin of minus x. Sin of minus theta is minus sin theta. So it becomes minus of fx. Therefore f is an odd function. So by using theorem 3.5 we have if f is odd function then minus a to a fx dx is equal to 0. Therefore, integral value of minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 sin x dx is equal to 0.